Hello English students, this is Chelsea with Let's Talk. Today let's break down direct object pronouns. So we're going to start by reviewing word order of a regular sentence. So if I have a sentence that says, the girl sees Harry. Which word here is our subject? The girl. So the verb is sees. And Harry is our direct object. The girl sees Harry. Now, a while ago we talked about subject pronouns. Uh, what word can we replace the girl with as a subject pronoun? We can say she. She sees Harry. Do you remember the other subject pronouns? We have I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. So I can say, I see Harry. You see Harry. He sees Harry. She sees Harry. It sees Harry. We see Harry. And they see Harry. Now, if Harry were a subject, I could say he. But Harry is not a subject. Harry is the object in this sentence. And for object pronouns, we have new pronouns. They aren't the same as our subject pronouns. All right, so the subject, the, the object pronoun for I is me. For you, you. For he, him. For she, her. For it, just it. For we, us. And for they, them. So you can see that you, and it have stayed the same, but all the rest are different. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. So, if we have a sentence like, the salesperson sees, we can replace the direct object with any of these pronouns. The salesperson sees me. The salesperson sees you. The salesperson sees him. The salesperson sees her. The salesperson sees it. The salesperson sees us. Or the salesperson sees them. All right, that's everything you need to know about direct object pronouns. My name is Chelsea, reminding you it's not nerdy being wordy. Down in the comments, try using some direct object pronouns. Let's talk again soon.